Out of numbers to another, we are tracking snowfall totals right now. Snowfall totals, He is only I said. saying that to scare me. I want to tell all the viewers <laughs> and Lainey, you know that that's true. <laughs> that's right. You have to go into very tip top of the mountains and I know you're not headed that way <laughs> and to see the snow in Boone, Appalachian State University. You can see the clouds overhead. There was some light snow on the ground earlier this morning there in Boone and even more in Beach Mountain at an inch, two inches at Grandfather, Mount Mitchell and Banner Elk with half of an inch of snow. Nothing coming down from the sky on first warning radar right now, but the temperatures are on their way down for sure. Upper 20s in Sparta, low 30s, Meadows of Dan, Galax. We've got mid to upper 30s from Stewart to Pilot Mountain and North Wilkesboro. Those feels like temperatures are in the 20s across much of the area with that northwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now the winds will come down a little bit as we head through the evening, especially overnight. That northwest wind in the triad at times 10, 15 miles an hour. Wind chill values are in the 30s. The temperatures are in the low 40s from High Point at 41, 42 in Winston-Salem, 41 in Reedsville. You're headed out tonight. The late evening temperatures are in the upper 30s in the triad and foothills. And tomorrow morning, everyone's in the mid to upper 20s. So you have to keep adding those layers. And tomorrow morning, you want to make sure the kids have got their gloves out as well as their heavier coats because need them at least for a few hours. There's some thin clouds to the west, but it is a pretty quiet weather map, at least in the short term. We've got some cool air tomorrow, but it is warmer a little farther west, and we'll cash in on that by the end of the week. So tomorrow's warmer than today at 52, but definitely below normal. Still a chilly day. Lots of sunshine. Southwest wind 5, 10 miles an hour, so not terribly breezy, and it's a warmer wind for us. We've got low 50s for highs in the foothills as well with sunshine. In the mountains, uh, breezy with winds picking up out of the west at 10 to 20 miles an hour. That's typically a warmer wind for us. We've got 49 for a mountain high temperature, but we'll get into the mid 50s in the mountains by Friday. A few passing clouds and should actually be close to 60 by Friday afternoon in the foothills and the Piedmont Triad. It'll be mild on Saturday too in the 60s ahead of this storm system, which is out of the Pacific Northwest. That one will be slowly moving our way. I do think with the exception of the mountains, it's a dry day on Saturday. Some of that rain tries to sneak in by late day Saturday, but it is mainly Sunday as we time this out. Right now it looks like pretty much all day Sunday will be wet with lighter rain in the morning, picking up after lunchtime. Could even see a line of heavier rain with maybe some thunder and lightning late Sunday, and then perhaps a transition to some wintry weather on the backside of this in the mountains for Sunday night. So we'll watch that very closely. And because this does move through pretty slowly, we could get some pretty decent rainfall totals, maybe an inch or more from this weather system and could also see at least a little bit of snow coating some of our mountain towns. So Christmas parades on Saturday are a go. We've got mild air with temperatures that are in the 60s. Right now it looks like it's wet for the parades on Sunday. We'll continue to kind of time this out. It could still shift and change just a little bit. We've definitely got some colder air coming in behind that weather system by Monday. All right, Lainey, thank you. Checking traffic. Here's a live look.